Let's do our first example with the quotient rule. So if you have the quotient rule memorized, and I do encourage you to memorize it, uh, I want to take the derivative of this thing. And the quotient rule says I take the bottom exactly as it is. I copy it. So I copy the whole denominator times the derivative of the top. And the top is 1. It's a constant, so its derivative is 0. Quotient rule says minus, product rule is plus, quotient rule is minus. The top, which is just 1, times the derivative of the bottom. So the derivative of the bottom using the power rule is 3x squared minus 2 all over the entire bottom quantity squared. So I'll just rewrite the bottom and square it. Well, this part is times zero. I don't need any of that. Um, and if it's all right with you, one times something is the same as not writing the one there. So you notice something a little interesting about this is if you watch the video on the reciprocal rule, this is exactly what you would get, right? You would put a minus sign here. You would put the derivative of the denominator on top and then you would copy the denominator squared. So when there's a 1, the quotient rule kind of collapses into the reciprocal rule. But we'll do another quotient rule example that's a little bit harder than this next time.